Thanks, Aaron. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey, guys, this is my review for Doom Annihilation, the movie that everyone was ripping on last year. I'm admittedly a little bit late to this. It's also because of my coworker friend, Aaron, who slipped me this movie. I couldn't resist watching it. I kind of regret, actually no, I very much regret now having watched this movie. I'm the old nightmare. It's pretty much as bad as everyone says it is. It's not god awful, it's just very bad low budget sci-fi horror movies. There's so many of them now that it doesn't seem that much different. Probably the big moniker about it is that it's got the Doom title to it. And trust me, it's <laughs> That's pretty much all it's got going for it. This is cult shit. This is fucking mad scientist cult shit. When the shut up. Film is about a bunch of soldiers who are sent to the moon, one of the Mars moons, to watch over the facility, and at that exact moment, shit goes wrong. These scientists have unlocked a portal, and after waiting about 10 minutes for the one guy who went through to have his cyber meltdown, things go worse, and apparently a zombie outbreak happens. Zombies that, mind you, are so damn good at being zombies, they take out the first soldier without any issue. <laughs> They're actually kind of stunt zombies. These guys have got some pretty good skills to them. I will have to say that these zombies are really well committed to attacking and taking down their prey. They will flip over walls, they will climb up walls, they'll do all sorts of stunts and that's one really weird bizarre thing is that they keep on trying to put a bunch of stunts in this movie. Like at one point after this guy lets out the lamest ultra nightmare reference. <laughs> Oh, ultra nightmare, motherfuckers! Ah! The zombie does this incredible maneuver on his back, and it's ridiculous. Coco punch! They also really liked every single scene in the Marvel movies where Black Widow did the whole head leg lock thing and twirl and shooty thingy, so they throw that into this movie as much as they can. <laughs> At the same time, they're also not doing anything to establish any of these characters. You don't give a crap about any of them. Tarek, I'm telling you, that's why he said it. To throw us off. It was a joke, Lee. That's what he wants us to think. You honestly believe he went through our stuff? They have these scenes throughout where you're thinking that they're trying, or at least this is when the writer was trying to do it, but really his brain is seemingly this hollow chasm. It's like a tomb. The guy who wrote and directed this has directed a bunch of crap straight to DVD movies. Something else that should be mentioned is that this movie was produced by Lorenzo di Bonaventura. And just to put this into perspective, this guy has produced every single Transformers movie. Maybe The Last Night finally hit him. But then if you look at his IMDb, he's got like eight gajillion movies coming out. So, I don't know, he just threw his name on it, I guess. Now there's the billion dollar question. In comparison to the original film back in the early 2000s with The Rock and Carl Urban, at least that movie had a higher production value. Semper Fi! Motherfucker! The money in this one is non-existent except for maybe the heavy CG hell scene at the very very end of the film because otherwise the lighting's flat, the costumes are laughable, especially when the imp appears. Fatality. It's probably one of the worst costumes I've ever seen. It looks like they took something from a 90s Power Rangers episode and they put it on the guy. They can't even do blood squibs. They have to do Z CG blood squibs and they're all terrible. What the fuck, Harry? We're not supposed to break ranks. There's no sense of urgency. There's no sense of terror. There's no sense of care throughout this whole film. <laughs> Maybe it might have been a little bit fun to work on it, but at the same time, it's just so irritatingly 
boring. Nope. I couldn't care. I was actually going through my emails while watching this film because I was just so bored. <laughs> And when you're doing something about doom... Demons? Doom. Battling demons isn't in my job description. Doom. We need to get the fuck out of here. You shouldn't be bored with the Rocks movie, even though it's not a good movie. At least I'm not bored in that film. At least I can have some fun with it. Especially the bad parts. Semper Fi, motherfucker. Whereas Doom Annihilation just offers nothing. It doesn't offer anything other than very low-hanging fruit references to either the Doom series oh, I'll get you, bitch! Or, oddly enough, Jonah Dark, like the Perfect Dark series. I thought that was a little odd to reference that. But either way, Doom Annihilation is terrible. It's not the worst movie ever. It's not one of the worst video game movies ever. I'm not going to give it that bracket because this movie didn't have any money. It was Doom from the start. <laughs> but otherwise, Doom Annihilation gets a 1 out of 7 from me. It's a very poor movie. It's a very bad movie. I, 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 I literally did this review as an excuse to put all of these funny clips in because these are really funny parts in the movie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.